In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect your Harmony Hub-based products, like this remote, to your Google Assistant so that you can control your entire entertainment center by voice with the Google Home, or you could use a smart display like the Google Home Hub. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, if you own a Google Home or a Google Home Hub device, make sure you hit subscribe as I'm all about helping you learn about all the things that these devices can do. So before we begin, a few things I want to note. If you previously linked Harmony with your Google Home, where you had to say, ask Harmony to do certain things, that version has been retired. So I suggest you go into the Google Home app and you find that in the home control settings where you add a new device, and unlink that. And then right here, it talks about how the new integration is with the blue icon, and that's what we'll be using today, which is better integration, um, and it just works better overall with the Google Home and your Harmony device. So if you have any further questions about this, I'll leave it in the description below. So now we're gonna head into the Harmony Hub before we go into the Google Home app, and make sure that everything here is correct. So go through and make sure that everything is working properly, and maybe if you need to change any actions, you might want to do that by going into the edit activities and then tapping on these items and you could adjust those right there. Now, one thing that you may want to do is go in and add favorite channels because you can actually quickly pull those up on your TV. So if I go into the menu right here and then I go down into the Harmony setup and then right here I have add and edit devices and activities. And then here I would want to go to favorites. So when you pull up your favorites up here, it will show what activity will launch the favorites. So here we have watch TV. Then here we would put in our zip codes. So then it will look up the TV guide so it can find all the different stations. And then we want to go next since we have found all that information. And here we would select the channels we want. So I've starred all the channels I want. And then you would actually need to input the actual channel number so that it can change to that channel. Then when we're done, it's going to save those. And here you can set a specific channel for it to automatically start on. And then we select next and it will sync our changes. Now that that is complete, I'm gonna select X to save my progress. But just for good measure, we're gonna go back in here into the menu. We're gonna go into Harmony Setup and here we have the sync option. So if you ever make any changes, you can come back in here and select sync and then it will sync all the data from the Harmony to your Harmony account. So that will all be stored online. Now that it has finished syncing, I'm pretty positive all this has been set up correctly. If you wanna see how to set this up in the first place, make sure you select the video at the end where I teach you how to set up your Harmony device. And then I'm going to go back into the Google Home application and uh, make sure that you're on your Wi-Fi network so everything is loading properly. But we're just going to select add and then we're gonna to go to setup device and here we are going to add a device that works with Google. And then we will need to scroll down and you could also use the search at the top to find Harmony, but there it is. So once I open a Harmony, then it will ask me to sign into my account. Now that you've signed into your account, here you're going to authorize so that it can um, use certain information to change the Harmony Hub. That's what we want to do. And then here it will restore any previous settings that you had before. So I've already done this, so it's giving me this notification right here. And then I'm going to select next and it's gonna give you this option where you can add friendly names to your certain activities. So here, if I want to watch my Android TV Nexus player, I could either say Nexus, Android TV, or Chromecast built in. And I could select right here to add another one. If I wanna play the Wii U, I would just say Wii U or Game Console or whatever else I want to, I could add play Mario or something. And then down here I have Blu-ray. So I have Blu-ray or DVD player and then music. Here's my watch TV. So TV is there as well as television. And then here I have Fire TV. So that looks good to me. And then if I go into this menu, it's gonna teach you more about some of the commands that we'll be using and I'll go over all those. But it also talks about the favorite channels. So here if I set up favorite channels, I can activate the Google Home and then I can say turn on Discovery Channel and it would switch that over on my TV. So we just need to go back and then select next. So here we can also add a friendly name to the actual channel. And here I've selected all the channels to add them to my Google Home. All right, now here are some of the commands. We can say turn on the TV, turn on whatever action name we have, or turn on the channel name. So let's link the account. And here it's showing all of the devices that it's going to add. And it asks if we want to move these to a different room. 
So this is not the room I want them in. I'm gonna select them all, and then we're gonna move them here into the toy room. And now those have been moved in the toy room. I select done. So if you go down here, you will see all of them pop up in this room. And when you tap on them, that allows you to change the name of them. So you could change them right here and it will control them that way. But now we are ready to control them via voice with the Google Assistant. So you can either use the Google Assistant on your phone, Google Home, or here on the Google Home Hub. So let's try one out. Turn on the Wii U. And here it says turning on the Wii U. So then if we look over at the TV, it just took a minute and there it has switched over to the Wii U. So now if we wanted to change the volume, I can actually just say, turn the Wii U volume down 10. And here it responded, okay. And I heard the volume turned down. Okay, now that we've played the Wii U, let's turn it off. Hey Google. Turn off Wii U. You got it, turning off the Wii U. And there it shut everything off, my receiver, my Wii U, as well as the TV. All right, let's try another one. Hey Google. Turn on Fire TV. Okay, turning the Fire TV on. So now it turned on my receiver, turned on the TV, and went to the proper input. Now you did notice that over here on the Google Home Hub, it actually showed a few different things. So let's say we start playing a video. Now to actually go in and select something, you will need to use your Harmony device to be able to do that. But over here, we can then just press play and it will play it on the TV. And then if I ask the Google Home Hub, hey Google. pause Fire TV. And then it will pause it. And over here, I have a few more controls. If I wanna play it again, I can just tap the play button. It will do that. I could turn it on and off right there. If I want to rewind, I can press the rewind and there it rewound a little bit. And if I press fast forward, looks like it went about five seconds forward and then I can select play again. If I want to change the volume, I would just press the volume key right here and then I can change the volume. And so that is changing on my receiver. Looks like it's doing about three at a time every time I press a button. And I can mute it right here or I could say, Mute Fire TV. Now if we wanna switch it up and change to a different activity, we would just need to say the name of the activity, or if you have a Google Home Hub, you can just swipe down here and go into the media controls right here. So I'm gonna select media, and then in this menu, you will actually see the different things pop up. So here we have Blu-ray, here we have Fire TV, and then we have some of the other ones down here at the bottom the Nexus stereo as well as TV. So I wanna to switch to TV, so I'm just gonna tap on TV on the screen, and then I'm gonna select on. And then it's going to switch my TV over to play the TV. So there it has started the TV. If I wanna turn back on the volume, I can select volume, I can unmute it, and then change the volume right there. If I wanna change the channel, here I have all the different channels I set up. So right now we're on CBS, let's say we want to go to Fox. There it's going to type it in right on the screen and it went right to Fox. So then we still have the same controls here. We have the pause, play, and stop, and fast forward and rewind. Um, but, but let's go ahead and try to change the channel with voice. Hey Google. Turn on CBS. Okay, playing CBS on YouTube TV. Oh. Now since activating this, I have been having a problem with the TV. Whenever I say TV, it doesn't know which TV I'm talking about. So we can actually just open this up, go into the name of the TV, and give it a new name. So here we're gonna call this one Toy Room TV. So then once I select Save, um, it will save that, but I also need to activate the Google Home and it's best to use the Sync My Devices command. Sync my devices. Sure, syncing devices for 10 providers. Hey Google. Channel down on Toy Room TV. Okay. And there we can see that it changed the channel over there. And so that worked great. We can then say, hey Google. go to CBS. Okay, switching to CBS on the Toy Room TV. 
Now that I have fixed the actual name, it's able to change to the favorite channels and it's able to actually control this. So I could also say, hey Google, turn off the Toy Room TV. You got it, turning off the Toy Room TV. And now all the controls are working properly. And if I wanna just jump right into any of the channels, I would just need to select on one of the channels and then it will automatically turn everything on and switch to that channel. Now, if you have a Roku device, you actually have a bit more integration. I currently don't have one, but some of the things that you could do is have it automatically launch Netflix or have it automatically launch Hulu, and then you can select your content. So that's one of the cool things that you can do. And that is how you use the Harmony Hub integration with Google Assistant and the Google Home Hub. Now, I will leave a list of all these different commands in the description below. If you have any further questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Again, if this is your first time here, hit subscribe down there, and then head on over to the video on the side as I'm gonna show you more things that you can do with your Google Home Hub and your smart home device. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.